Oh, we were, yeah, comprehensively outplayed tonight. I mean, that was, uh, from the kickoff, I, I think, you know, they, they wanted it more than us and they got the, the right rewards. Why do you think they wanted it more than us? Well, that's something we'll have to look at uh, in the next few days. You know, our preparation was good. Um, but it's just, you know, Origins won on attitude and effort. And we didn't have, uh, didn't match them in any areas there tonight, you know, for the 80 minutes. Were you surprised, Kevin, given that you had challenged the guys to start well? Yeah, but, yeah, surprised. Uh, certainly from, from our point of view. Um, and, and disappointed too, certainly. They're, you know, they're not feeling too good in there at the moment, but that's, that's origin. It's about, um, you know, the young side, so we, we'll all learn a lot tonight, myself, you know, included. How big is the job now, Kevy, of turning it around? Oh, it's no bigger than what it was, you know, last week. So uh, we've got to go to Sydney, which is, you know, it's, it's a great origin venue, um, ANZ Stadium. And we'll look forward to the challenge that that, that provides for Game 3. Some poor discipline after Jared Wallace Oh, we were poor in a lot of areas tonight. I'm not going to single out any one player. I mean, across the board, you know, we, we just weren't in the game from, from the kickoff. Even our kickoff to start the game was shit. Kevin, game one, like you rated it 5 out of 10 and you got the win. What are you rate tonight? Uh, what are you rated at? I'm a journo, not a coach. No, no, well, I'd probably say 2 out of 10. Yeah, well, you're, you're being kind, so. <laughs> Kevin, um, did Dylan Arthur re-injure that, that wrist? Look like no, we just c couldn't get him back on in that second half. Um, you know, we thought we, we were chasing points, so we put Moses on to give him, see, see what he could do through there, but, you know... Um, no, he, he's fine in there. Just couldn't get him back out there in that second half. <coughs> well, Pete, we'll look, we'll look at that in the next few days. Yeah, you know, I've only seen the game once, so um, yeah, we'll look at that and see who's available as well. You know, coming into game game three. Give you some big disappointing dressing room. How do you pick them up after a loss like that? Oh, it's easy. We we'll get the we'll get it going again. Um, you know, we all learned a good lesson tonight, and it was provided. You know in our face from from the get-go about origin football and how it should be played um so you know it won't it won't won't be a difficult job for mine that that they're all in there as i say everyone involved in the teams bitterly disappointed with with what we threw up tonight we we'll just go back and, and fix a few areas and we'll be back for game three Oh, it was everywhere, Pete. Yeah, the kickoff fucking pissed me off. So um, it didn't go far enough. Um, there's a lot, lot of areas. They, they beat us up everywhere, you know. So plenty to work on. What, is, what about the kickoff? Pissed you off? Well, it just didn't. It's just you know nothing in it. Didn't go long enough. Yeah, it's just the, the it's just the whole game. So plenty to work on. You but little, and, and did you get alarmed when you see that? I mean, you obviously got pissed off. It wasn't good enough. Did you get a laugh when you saw that? Was that a concern straight away? Or? Oh, no. It, it just just was how the night was. We just weren't, you know, we were there, but we weren't good enough. And, you know, I think we all saw, you know, through that opening 10 minutes, you know, the dominant team wasn't us. And that continued for the rest of the game. Is there any way that winning game one maybe went to their head? Did nah, their head? not to their head. Well, they are a young side too, and they've, you know, got, got some younger players in there. Haven't got a lot of experience at this level, but... Uh, having said that, you know, it's about game three now, and that's what that's what we're all looking forward to. It'll and be a great challenge for us. Who's the side today at the stadium? So that's oh. something to hang your hat on. I guess. Who we have, have we? Yeah. Okay, I, I, did, well, I wasn't aware of that. So, you know, that, that's great, but doesn't mean anything with, with this side. We've got to, you know, get back uh, back on the training field. They got their, back to their clubs, back uh, into into our training. In, in, how long and way it is, I'm not sure, and fix up all those areas that we're inefficient in. Kevin, you mentioned that you would take a bit out of this and learn a bit from it. What do you, what do you mean you'd get out of it? Oh, just, you know, just from a coaching point of view as well. You know, you know I, I know we can all be better as coaches, <laughs> and, and certainly I'm part of that as well. So that's my job to, you know, get our preparation a lot better, get our attitudes a lot better, and, and you know... Once we do that, we fix all those things, we'll be in a much better place, you know, for game three. You had a few injuries coming into it in hindsight. Do you think that you should have rested those who were carrying sort of niggles or No, I don't I don't think that was, you know, 
we, we don't put players out on the field who aren't 100% fit, so um, they were all ready to go, just that their, their minds weren't. Oh, yeah, well, that was the, the disappointing thing is all, all the Queensland fans. Um, it was a great, you know, it's a good stadium, world-class stadium. So, unfortunately, um, for us, it's it's not one of our favourite places at the moment. But I'm sure in the near future, we'll, we'll turn that around. Physicality a bit of a concern, Kev? No, our boys like the, the, the physical side of it. You know, they just, they were better in all areas. And, um, yeah, we've got a towel up, so... Okay. Thanks. Yeah, pop it on the chin.